Okay, I have a quite clean Curator CE system. Notice that I don't even have any app installed. I don't have any log sources. And I really miss the uh, new log source app. I probably should add it here. But, uh, okay, plain vanilla, clean, nothing in it. And I set my PFSense router to send the logs from firewalls, the ACP, and DNS in here. And notice that they are coming here, and they are not. They cannot be parsed. So we're going to fix that by adding the DSM. So let's go to the admin tab, and I downloaded my app. The the one that I exported and the export process is in yet another optional video. If I click here browse, this is the one that I created that I exported the content of the manual DSM that I created. It says it's not digitally signed obviously and, and click in here validating the install. It should come very quickly and as to install it and notice that these are precisely if you watch the other video these are the custom properties that I created I create new QIDs for this so they got exported the system is replacing some of these I'm gonna you know let it do that and just to make sure in in case that you don't know how to get this material in most of my videos there is a link, let me go to any any recent video, this one for example, where I created the parser manually. In here, we see show more, I always put this, link to folder where I can find most of my videos and this other stuff. So if you click into that link, you go to a public box folder and I added this pfSense folder in it you will find not only this zip file that we're using but also this is the file that I use for the export process and there's some notes that I was actually taking what I was learning all these that you might find useful or not. Let me go back to the actual installation and it really finished that was very quick. Now Obviously, since I just exported some QIDs and the CMT pick a bunch of things, I don't expect traffic analysis to auto-discover the logs, and you know it hasn't auto-discovered them. So all we have to do is add them, add a log source, and we go here to the All Log Sources app, click Add. And I'm going to put here PFSense, PFSense, our new that we just imported is syslog. The identifier is this one, that's the IP address of my box. I'm not doing coalescent. It should be able to pick up the extension automatically, but it doesn't hurt to select it. That's the only one that I have. And click Save. And that's going to require deploy the changes. So pretty soon we should see here, yeah, and here it is. We see the details. So I'm going to deploy the changes, and I'm going to post the video until that finishes. So if we go to the log source tab, and excuse me, I'm covering my IP here at home. You see firewall deny, firewall permits. In fact, I'm going to actually add a filter here to get just that one. And then I'm going to go back in time and see all the type of uh, events that we have. But by the nature, by the type of port, you see that this stuff is actually working not just with firewall denies, but also we see some DNS traffic and some other stuff. So as I said, I put the filter PFSense and I group them by event name and notice that we had firewall denies, we have DHCP traffic. This unknown is something that probably our friend Carlos G has uh, 
did not uh, complete that for parsing. You're welcome to actually do that and let us know with a comment so we can uh, keep improving this uh, sense. But there you have it. Enjoy knowing more about what's happening in your home network and how PFSense is uh, helping you by using the free curator CE.